Touchdown. Starliner is back on Earth. Without the astronauts, it was meant to be carrying back to Earth. Boeing's Starliner spacecraft touched down in a New Mexico desert after leaving the International Space Station around six hours earlier. Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams rode to the ISS in Starliner in June for what was meant to be an eight-day mission. But the capsule, which has been plagued with technical issues, was deemed too risky to bring them home. Instead, they'll be returning in a SpaceX Crew Dragon in February next year. A change of plans that the astronauts have taken in their stride, according to the manager of the ISS. Since Butch and Sonny have been on board and they were extended, they already started participating and really helping us out on board station. Um, they've done over 42 experiments, may actually be more than that by now. That was when I checked last week. They had over 100 hours between the two of them helping us on board with science and research. They are doing, you know, the normal exercise uh, regiments. The blastoff in June marked the first test flight for Starliner. The problems with the spacecraft came as another knock for Boeing, its reputation already marred by recent in-flight incidents and two deadly accidents several years ago. A smooth landing will therefore be welcomed by the company, as well as NASA, which is determined to get the capsule certified in the future. Many things on the vehicle are working really well. What we really need to go do is look at the things that, that didn't perform the way we expected, like I talked about the helium leaks. Can we go fix those leaks, test those on the ground and have confidence to move forward and fly again? And the same thing with the thrusters. While this was Boeing's first attempt at a crewed mission, rival company SpaceX has sent nine crewed flights to space for NASA.